Hey Stitching Buds, welcome to Floss Tube number 5. Hope you've all had a good couple of weeks. The last couple of weeks, uh, last week's been alright for us. Uh, nothing different. Um, been going to college and doing my maths and... No, I haven't made known English yet. Sorry, excuse me, it's just that this past week I've been going to college on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday doing maths. I've been doing decimals, fractions, percentage, percentages, multiplication, division. Basically today it was changing over fractions and turning them into decimals. So if I do talk a bit out of shape or I suddenly have a on way of a brain fart please excuse me because I've just finished my maths session for this week um Tuesday I couldn't make head nor tails about it I honestly I by the end of the session I was completely fed up Wednesday was all right wasn't too bad it was pretty good um and today it's not been too bad as well I've just carried on with some work that was given Anyhow, that's what's happened this week there. I'm trying to think of anything. Yeah, I took my son to his nan's the other day on the bus. Um, he had a lovely morning. He loves going on the bus. <laughs> Excuse me, that's a cat, Pingo. He's just dived up the stairs. When he dives about, suddenly, when he disappears in the kitchen and he suddenly dives through the living room up the stairs, you know, he's done a smell. <laughs> But fingers crossed we don't stink it at the minute else suddenly I might start even you don't want to see that. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Okay, finish talking about cat poo. <laughs> well, so, we'll actually go on to what we meant to talk about. Um basically first I'm gonna start off with the second lot of twenty facts about myself. I've written them all down, so that's why my head keeps going like that. Turn that way because so I can actually remember all the facts. Right. Fact number one. Totally and utterly random and totally not um, stitching related, but I can't ride on fair ground rides. It makes me feel sick. Yeah, to even go on little rides, it makes me feel sick. Um, I went on the waltzers once a few years ago. I got off, I think I must have... Oh. Yeah, I ain't even going to mention that. And I went to somewhere like, it wasn't Alton Towers, but it was somewhere else. Uh, the ones that we went on, they, I can't for the life of me remember what the name of the ride was, because I just try my best to forget about it. Um, it's one of these rides where you step into like this cage, it's round a circle, and it turns round and round and round. And who was with at the time? They said, don't worry, it doesn't flip upside down, it doesn't go side to side, it just go, turns round and round a little bit, so foolishly, I believe the stupid idiot. Excuse me, I just put this camera right. And the ride started and then it went round and round, I thought, okay, I'm just about reaching my limit here, but I can survive it. Then it started going like a pendulum, then it started swinging and swinging and swinging. I started screaming and screaming and cursing and swearing and put it this way, by the time the ride finished, I looked up, <laughs> everybody that was around, I just had all eyes on me, I had a complete and utter panic attack on it and that was the last time I've ever been on a ride, I just don't like them. When I went to Disneyland Paris, I think I went on the pirate ship um, where it goes through the water and that that was good i like that uh fact number two i'm an ex smoker um i've been smoking on and off since a very early age which obviously isn't a good example so if you're a young person do not smoke but um yeah on and off when i became pregnant with my son and my daughter i quit smoking uh, straight away um I nodded pretty well, but unfortunately, for like about a month after those both born, I started smoking again. I, like I said, I've been on and off. Um, and this year, 
uh, I was just talking to my friend and she, her and her partner don't smoke and I was about to go for a visit down there and I just didn't feel right smoking at their house when I know that they don't so even though I could have gone outside so far I'm just going to go without one and I ended up start, I was there for about a week and when I come home I thought you know what I'm not even going to start again because it's pointless I've gone a week without a cigarette so why suddenly start again and the fact that I just didn't want to do it anymore I didn't want to smell of smoke and that um so I've quit that was the last cigarette I had was the 2nd of April it's now August the 3rd and I haven't touched one since don't get me wrong there is times when I feel like I could really do with a cigarette and that and there's been stressful times as well where I've really I've really wanted one but I haven't I've held out and I haven't the next thing to cut down is the chocolate the amount of chocolate I eat because I eat way too much way 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 too much I blame my husband right. <laughs> you can hear me it's over there um, next thing uh, fact number three I'm an emotional person oh yeah <laughs> maybe a good thing maybe a bad thing um, good thing I'm not afraid to show my emotions bad thing I can get emotionally upset about anything well not anything but as my husband nods yes <laughs> um, I can get upset um, I do, I do take things to heart, but it's just me. I care about anybody. <laughs> I try and see the best in anyone, even if uh, they've not been all together good. I just try and see the best in everyone and that, and probably sometimes I should cut my losses, but I just I can't. I just can't. I'm just not like that. And fact four, I enjoy watching movies. My favourite is Back to the Future and Harry Potter. I absolutely love those two films. Back to the Future, well, both of them really. I've watched them, oh gosh, over and over and over. And it's like a Duracell battery, over and over again. I just love them. Um... Obviously, if you've watched Lollipop Stitches, by the way, go and check her out. She's pretty good. She's doing embroidery work at the minute. She loves Back to the Future as well. And I'm so envious because she's got to actually see, I'm sure she's got to see Michael J. Fox and Dr. Emmett Brown. I would love, love to meet them, even though I'll probably turn out to be a, a quivering wreck if I did. But I do love them, and like I said, I love the Harry Potter. I just love the mystical whole thing about it and everything. So, yeah. The only things I don't like watching about films is... Quite a few of you might agree with me here. And some of, it's some of us, it might not seem to bother them. Because I know it's only... Obviously, it's only film, it's only acting. I don't like films when with animals getting hurt in I can't watch them, even if it's a film completely about something else, but an animal gets hurt in it. I just can't watch it. There's a film that's come out, what is it called? That one with Keanu Reeves. Um, John Wick. Joe? John Wick. John Wick. Um, I've seen a trailer about that, and <clears throat> I'd like to watch the film, because it, like it looks like a pretty good film, but I know in the film something happens like to an animal and... I've said to say, I just can't do it, I can't watch it. Um, I just don't think there's any need. There's no need in it. Um, just no need for it. I love all sorts of different films as well. Uh, years ago I used to love horror films. I can still watch a couple now. But I'm not so massively struck. And I'm obviously since becoming a parent. We, me and my husband have just gone through watching the old... Um, Nightmare on Elm Street. We've watched Friday the 13th. <laughs> Sorry, my husband's there going... Whatever he means. Plug my film. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I'll mention it at the end. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Right, five. I'm going to pick my book up because I can't really see it. Number five. I love anything Disney. I love Disney themed. Disney, Disney, Disney. Just give me everything. <laughs> no, I love it. I just love all the magical thing about it and everything. I've got two snow globes upstairs. Um, one's Beauty and the Beast and another one is Alice in Wonderland. Oh, I just love it. I love Disney. I think my son loves it as well. He loves uh, Peter Pan. His favourite at the minute is Mickey Mouse. Fantasia, isn't it? I think it is. Besides his other films. <laughs> Can you hear the cat? <laughs> He's down there. Hey, Buzz. I'm not coming to you. Anyhow, yeah. I do love Disney films and that. I love Disney needle minders. If in case you haven't noticed, with the needle minders I've showed you in the past. Six, another totally random one, and one that I've mentioned is I love chocolate. In brackets, big massive brackets, too much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when I was pregnant with my son, I had a craving for walnut whips. Oh gosh, the amount of them I went through. I can't say. Yeah. Yeah, you can't say no. I don't know what chocolate is. <laughs> yeah, I love chocolate. <laughs> um, talking of chocolate, I had a chocolate cookie just before I come back from college today. It was nice. Um, it's fact seven, I don't drink. I just don't bother with it now. Um, don't get me wrong, I've had times <laughs> in the past. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a kind of been there done that type thing obviously i'm not a total og or anyone who drinks fair be but um i just don't bother it's just because of having children obviously having them most of the time i just like to have a complete proper level head in case of like a situation i just i just don't bother with it um Put it this way, in the past it's played a big role and a lot of it hasn't been good. Not personally, me, myself, but around me, so I'm uh, probably a bit, um, and obviously, not my husband, <laughs> um, be, oh, long before that, before I met my husband, so I just don't bother with it now. Um, fact number eight. I worked as a care assistant when I was uh, since 16. I worked as a care assistant up to the age of 30. I've done day care, night care. I've worked as a senior carer. I've worked in three different homes. Um, it was a pretty good job. Um, the day, the day work is very busy, but it was good. Um, the good thing about working days as a carer is getting to spend the time with the actual residents and spending time with them and actually just bringing a smile to the faces and knowing that you've made them happy in some way or that you're making them happy it makes you happy um, night care as well uh, obviously it can get tiring especially if you do a few nights in a row um, it's pretty alright senior care that was a bit more of a Shrinks, obviously, you have a medication and that to deal with, and audits and everything. It can be quite a stressful, um, tiring position. And um, obviously, I don't do that um, care anymore since I've had the children because obviously I'm looking to go into counselling, but I've mentioned that in my past videos. Um, fact number nine. I'm interested in anything CSI type. I love watching documentaries of CSI forensic investigations and everything. Um, obviously, CSI on the, the TV series, I like that. Uh, I just like, I like watching how they gather different information and evidence regarding crimes and how from maybe one of the biggest crimes or a crime that's been like, 20 years old and they haven't been able to solve it they've solved it so many years later with this evidence and it's so small and you wouldn't think that something as small as that or little had actually
break a hole um, the crime and basically solve it but it has done um, I've watched a few on Netflix um, I've probably got more to watch um, but I do they do interest me and fact number 10 my ideal holiday well, I've got a few actually but since you're watching Floss Tube my ideal holiday would be America uh, if you watch McKenna from Every Stitch Counts, even uh, you've I've heard of the Blick, is it Blick store? There's a store that she goes to where she's got a few, I think it's an equivalent, a UK equivalent to like a charity place, charity shop where they have things sold, at, uh, like house clearances and things like that. There's one that she mentioned where, like there's a big stitching place she mentioned as well where she goes to in Vegas and it's a big stitching it's bigger than a shop, it's like a mall oh and I'm so envious <laughs> I absolutely love it, I'd love to just be able to go to a big massive stall and the old American theme I'd love to see what California is like, sunny California um, I'd love to see what any type of America is like besides um, just had different life to see how different it is from the UK to see it's, if it's that much different I'm just really fascinated with it um, but at the moment obviously that's not on the cards because we're obviously having two little children and that but and obviously money but in the future it may be a possibility I'm never gonna say never obviously right now I've done the second 10 facts, whips. I'm not going to show you my Pinocchio because unfortunately I haven't done much work, I haven't done any work on it at all. I've been working on my other ones, but the one I will show you is I've showed you in my last video and the one before that. I've been doing some more work on it. Is the one, well, I can just get the front that that one if you remember when I showed you the other way this is how much I've actually done on it I know it's a, maybe a bit hard to tell because of it's already printed fabric but I've done all that there as you can see I did all the orange bit I'm working on the yellow bit now got it in my Q snap got my needle minder there Pretty good. It's a pretty good simple thing to do for when I want to do when I really want to do cross stitch, but I want to do something where it doesn't um, necessarily need a whole lot of concentration to it. It's an easy good stitch. I'm really enjoying that. And the way I'm working at it, it shouldn't take that long to do. New start. Now I found this in a set of cross stitch goodies that I'd thought I'd lost this one that it's got I love you picture of a teddy bear on it the original um, material to stitch that on was even weave I tried it the one night I sat in bed with it because I never stitched with even weave before and oh my god I'm, I think I did a few stitches and it looks so small so I posted it on um, Stitch Mania so if you watch Stitch Mania you'll probably remember me posting it and I just didn't get the count and I think I did it 1 over 1 where it should have been like 2 over 2 and at the time I didn't get it so I thought I've got some nice aid and that's what I'm used to so I'll try this it's a nice like coffee can you call it coffee coloured? What do you call it? Yeah, coffee coloured Ada. Nice and thick, good quality. So I tried that, doing it on there instead, and actually really enjoy it. It's turning out, I've only done a little bit of it, but it's turning out pretty well. I'm sorry about the film quality. You can see it. It's turning out pretty good, so I've been doing a bit of that. You see my needle minder in the corner. Can't draw as a Disney fan. <laughs> Snow White. That's where I've started there, anyway, and that's me now. Start another whip I've got. This isn't cross stitch as such, but it's in a way it's kind of related to it. 
I mentioned in the past, it might have been my first video about diamond painting. And probably some of you have mentioned it in your videos as well. It's like cross stitch, but instead of using thread, you use little gems. Like that. Like little beads. And basically, you just stick them on the corresponding colours. You, you already get the fabric thing printed on there and you just stick it over the corresponding colours and the numbers and you have like a chart the same as cross stitch and I'll just did the corner bit there I am actually doing a big massive one at the minute but because the way my back is at the minute it's not been too good and every time I've tried to work at it because it's like confetti stitch but it's like confetti gems I can only work on it in a little bit and my back just agony. I really need to find a way that I can work on it longer than I have to try and get it done because it's one of my uh, son and my husband and I think I've gone about halfway through it. I've showed you before and it's lovely. It's just a shame my back is the way it is at the minute so I've been told I need to go back to the doctors about it because obviously the painkillers in the hot water bottle it's not working. The other night I was led in bed, led on my side, with my eyes shut, and I could literally feel it was like it was like the bottom of my spine in the middle. It was like hurting, and my legs were like warm. It was like a warmer sensation that was going through the back of my legs, basically. So I'm just going to see how it goes, and obviously I need to get it resorted. And I've got a gem that's come off here. Yeah, excuse me a sec. Just stick that back on there. Yeah, that's that. But oh poop. Yeah, I think I'll best put that away before I <laughs> yeah, anyhow, that's that. The diamond painting, that's the other little star. I think I'll give that to my mother in law for Christmas in a frame. I might stick it in a frame myself. Be nice to work at Christmas time, that would. And so that's that. And if you're anything like me, when you're doing reviews of things and you're showing them, and then you realise you can't put the thing back in the pack like you did before, well, I've done it. <laughs> done it before. I'm late for this stuff, I am. I, oh, yes. yeah. <laughs> Can you hear me whispering in the background? Added extra. I'm a bit of a clumsy clot. Yes. <laughs> it's laughing. I want to get the camera by in a minute. Come on, Brie. Show yep. your face. Come, yep. on. Come, yep. on. Come, yep. on. come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Finish. A finish I've got. It's only a little finish, but I was ever so chuffed with this uh, last week. I brought the magazine. Um, and I've completely and utterly forgot the name of the magazine. It's a cross stitch magazine. <laughs> Anyhow, I can't remember. I can't believe I can't remember the name. But um, yeah, I did it in my last uh, video. I showed you the magazine because I said the necklace kit reminded me of one that McKenna showed in one of her videos. Anyhow, I finished it. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Do you like it? It's lovely, isn't it? I like it. Yep, not too bad that. So I'm quite impressed with it and my husband's laughing. Yeah, he's laughing when I made it. He's like, are you seriously going to wear that? I was like, well, yeah, made it. He's clapping his head off now. What? Oh, hello. Let me have to come over. You can say hello. Say hello to everyone. Pick him up, he'll let you on. No, <laughs> no, my fuck you. <laughs> Claw mace. So I'll end up with a big fight on YouTube. Anyhow, next thing. Oh, I think my husband's going to pick the cat up a minute. Would you like to meet the cat? Pingo. Look. Nice fluffy thing. 
Yeah, he's a sweetheart. Um, we've just bought him one of those cat scratching posts at the minute because he's little nightmare trying to scratch the settees. You probably heard that in the other videos before, but we bought him a scratching post with a little hut and a shelf. And on the minute, it's at the front of the window. And he likes it, loves to sit on it and just be nosy out the window and everything. Um, he's quite impressed with that and he's just standing there now, just <laughs> watching. Oh no, he said I want some more. Who are you talking to? Rowdy, yeah. <laughs> oh no, he's just jumped on the back now. Sorry if you could suddenly get down with a big crash bang wall up any other hall. I had to get these. Oh, yeah, I have to get these where the magnet comes off. Round the back, <laughs> sitting at the back now. The needle minders, Alice in Wonderland and Minnie Mouse. I'll be making needle minders myself as well. I've started making them and I made myself this one, Pinocchio. I thought I have to have that to make for myself because that would be perfect for my Pinocchio design. Um, another bit of me haul, I'll try and not keep you too long because it's got to 26 minutes now and obviously I don't enjoy the potty if I drive you mad with my voice. So, yep, let's put that little thing in there. Do you like my little haul bag? <laughs> my little shopping bag. <laughs> I can get quite a lot with that, can't I? No, I've got my big carrier bag down there. Another bit of a bit of all. I found this in, like I said, a bit. I found a big stitching bag with all sorts of stuff in. But because I've got quite a bit to show you this time, I'm going to show you that next time. So this is what I found in the bag as well. Just a tiny little stitch. I might actually do that for my mother-in-law's friend because it's her birthday soon. In I think it's about two weeks, a week or two. So, happy birthday, Flo, for them. So, I'll give that for her, I don't think she watches YouTube, because I've completely not going to give it away what I'm going to do, but... I don't think she does. I'll put that piece of paper in there. Right, a haul. This was gifted to me from a lady on Facebook from by where I live. She was getting rid of... Sorry, and I'm talking down the camera now, because I'm trying to get my back there and the cat sat on the back. Um, she was getting rid of quite a few cross stitching things, um, books and charts and kits and materials and she asked me if I wanted these and I asked her what she wanted for it and she didn't want anything for it, she just said to just make some use of it so yeah I was stitchy, stitchy, I was sprinkled with stitchy kindness, I need to get all of that proper and to think I'm doing GCSE English. Yeah, um, <laughs> quick thing, yeah, what was I spelling? Gotcha. No, it was something the other week. Yes, I spelled intellectual right and I spelled college wrong. And my husband just turned around and he said, you're going to study GCSE English, you can spell into intellectual right, but you spelled college wrong. I was like, yeah. <laughs> college, college. Yeah, <laughs> don't ask. Anyway, we'll get back onto the current pro um what I'm talking about, yeah. The haul that I was given. Right, there's quite a few bits in here, so I'm going to go as long as I can. I'll give it about a few more minutes. Right, one of the things I was gifted was this. It's got the material in, it was started, and it's got the chart in it, but obviously I can't show you the chart. But I don't know if I've actually got the stitching material by no i don't think i have but i can easily get it it's just they've done quite a bit of it so yes uh, the lady who stitched this who didn't manage to get it done i am showing your progress on floss tube and i'm going to finish that off for you so um, i thought it's too cute too nice to be kept away and i'm going to actually finish it for you so, she gave me that, so I'm going to do that for her. 
Oh no, the other things with this bit of... <laughs> the cat's, the cat's here. Are you come to say hello? It's a kiss. There we go. Yeah, that's the cat. If I don't get your views, I'll nothing more. <laughs> you can see it. Um, there's this as well that I was gifted in because I just had a bag full of stuff. There's that. Unfortunately, I can't see the chart to it. So I know it's a bit of a long way. So if you can think, anyone can think that they've seen something similar to that or what they think it may be, if you could let me know, I'd be grateful because there's a fair bit of fabric there so I could use the fabric, but I don't want to cut that off because that is really nice stitching, that is. And I'd love to actually finish that off if I knew what the chart was. Yep, still going. There's five things here, so let's have a look what's in here. There's... <laughs> Sorry everyone, I'm still here. Come on. Yeah, oh gosh, it's because I've got material and cross stitch stuff out. Is is a nut with it? I've got this uh, old old bag with a stitching thing on it. Got the cottons. This is what it looks like, and the cats like that's very interesting. Yeah, there's that. So I might actually use these when I've done them as uh, project bags. What are you doing? It keeps going for the tassels on my jeans. I've got ripped jeans on and it keeps... Ow! <laughs> it keeps going for the tassels on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I've got some frets as well there, the little sausage. <laughs> I'm going to change this to not keep calm and craft with Shelly Lewis. I'm going to change it to keep calm and craft with Shelly and Pingu Lewis. What do you think? Yeah. Say hello then. If you want to be on film, you want to say hello to everyone. Come on. No, I'm camera shy. That's the pressure. Yeah, you said no, no. I'm just you. <laughs> oh, God, it's going to Bingo! Send them back there. Oh gosh. I do apologise. But, oh, what would a stitching video without an animal wanting to get in the videos? Here you go. I think they're kind of probably um, as the same thing with a cat and a dog, Wally. Oh, it's so gorgeous. And the cat is there. I think it's cute. And all you, everyone else, the animals that have appeared in the videos as well. All of them are cute. I think it's cute and the cat's one of them. Right, there's that one. The same one. Right, it's up to 34 minutes, so I'm going to go quicker through this. This one, basically it's just thread. Uh, more bits of thread in there it's a chart but unfortunately because it hasn't got one of the charts hasn't got a picture it's a poo bear one it's just a chart i can't show you that but one of the ones i did have the chart was that i think it's an anniversary one 50th anniversary yeah and some scissors some scissors there got more charts there this one's i think it was like a flower field on that i have to be careful what i should ow <laughs> it guys just dived in my hand as i'm messing through the bag it just dived in it oh i feel a lot of pressure um i was very surprised she actually um this was in the bag as well a friend stitch so I'm thinking of doing that for my best friend who lives in the West Midlands. It's got the fabric and the material and everything with that one. And another chart there. Got some more charts. More ch another chart with leftover thread. Another 50th anniversary. Tiny material. 
another chart with leftover thread. That one's so cute. That is really cute, that is. Um, there's one here. Excuse me. I've just got to get the front picture out of the bag because, like I said, again, I can't show the chart. That one. I've got that chart and I really like that one. That is really different. Really nice, that is. So... I've got to actually, I've got to sort through this bag and put them into order and that. But, uh, just let me show you this one last thing. Just chuck all this lot back in here first because it's everywhere near the cat. Being a little monkey. Huh? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Hiding under the table. Yeah, he's hiding under my table. And that's another chart that I've got, which I was given. I'm not ent entirely sure if I'm actually going to stitch that one. So if I decide to do a giveaway anytime, I may do a giveaway of that. It's nice, but it's not really something that I'd stitch. So, well, that's the haul. Anyway. Yes. One thing I wanted to involve in this video before I go is this is Sally for you, McKenna. You showed, I think, I can't remember which video it was, but you showed like a jar of buttons that you had passed down to you. You actually inspired me when I seen the video to look out for my buttons that I was given. <laughs> um, passed down to me from, I don't know whose there was, but there might have been my nan's. No, not my nans or great nans. Basically, I've got a few things in there. I'm not going to hold it up because no more. Look, the whole lot will drop out. So, but it's just full of different buttons and that. Some old ones there. there. Yeah, an old one there. I'm not sure exactly. Sh I know some of these buttons were probably my mum's, but most of it was probably my grand's. But the thing that really got me the most was this. This is a needle cushion. And obviously when I watched McKenna's video, I think she mentioned something. Yeah, she found a set of keys uh, that were from, was it 1960s? Around that part. I do apologise because I've watched quite a few videos uh, since then. But it reminded me of this. This was there you go it's got a little inscription in the front and it says it's got a lovely quote it says when the weary day is through and you're all alone with nothing to do just take this case and start to sew then all your cares away will go and this looks like it was my step nuns Oh, from a mum. Yeah, it looks like a mum bought it. Uh. And this was September 1961. So this is... Yeah, <laughs> bad at maths. Did it the other day? It's about 40 odd years old. 40 odd years old? 50? 1961, say 60, 70, 80, 90. 50, about 54 years old and my battery's about to go. Sorry about that. It's alright, my light was flashing up from my battery. 1961 that was, guys. So, there you go. You've seen my cover buttons. Just before I go, the book I've just finished reading, Everything, Everything. If you enjoy reading books, um... And you're into kind of, I wouldn't say it's a teen book, because my mother-in-law read this and she read it in a couple of days flat and she really enjoyed it. There's a film that's recently come out called Everything Everything. Basically it's about a girl who suffers from an illness where she can't go outside because if she goes outside she can get seriously poorly. Um, all I'm going to say, because obviously I don't want to spoil it, 
go and check it out it's a good book i read this in about three days flat i have got needle minders that i've other needle minders that i've made myself but i'm gonna stop this video in a minute because i'm not sure how long it'll last i do have i'm on facebook on stash unload uk or stitching groups as well as Shelley Lewis and I'm selling some needle minders on there for three pounds each um I would love to send them overseas but I'm not sure how much it actually would be over there anyhow people who I've been watching is A to Z needle worker so I've been watching her and yeah, obviously I've mentioned McKenna a few times. I'm binge watching her videos at the minute. I just love um, Pepe. I'm sure if you do watch this, ask Pepe if he's got a secondary cousin called Spike. Because we've got a Spike living with us. And he keeps claiming that he knows Pepe. So ask him if he's heard of Spike. And in my next video, I'll actually show Pepe a picture of Spike and see if he recognises him. Okay? <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'll let you go for now. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you stuck with me for this long, it's 41 minutes. So, say the least, it's been a funny video, especially with Pingu, my stitching assistant, making an appearance. Because he does stitch. He sits with me when I'm stitching and colouring and doing my other crafts and now he's staring at me so thank you for watching thank you for subscribers and likes don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and just leave comments if you'd like to leave comments and do you want to quickly say bye Pingu I'll just turn the camera around there he is over there it's a bit dark say bye there he goes go meow <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Bye everyone. Have a good couple of weeks and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.